<clears throat> okay, this is Jack. Um, mind and mind predictions. Um, okay, I'm gonna have to look more specifically in terms of when exactly interdimension interdimensionality, in terms of manifestation, stopped. Um, at the moment, if I look at it, it was actually when the Egyptians, uh, in, during the Egyptian era. Uh, so, in terms of ghosts and etc., those are merely mind projections, literally. Mind projections are, are quite simple. Uh, it is the integration of a dimensional being into a human being. Um, not completely, though. Just basically the mind area is the walk in of the mind and then the being takes you to place in your mind okay now it is it is it's a it causes a dimensional shift in other words your reality uh, let's say you're sitting in your living room for instance or if you you know I'm certain or you're sitting in your living room and what you see is a certain projection it is a picture remember this whole world reality is <coughs> okay I'll get there later um, and what you're seeing is actually a projection. Uh, it, is, it, is, it is real, but it's not real at the same time. So in other words, in terms of manipulating projections, mind projections, it's quite simple. So the being would just integrate into your mind head area and just insert another manifested projection within the projection that you're already seeing. So it's like that's what causes that's what the dimensional shift is. You you see something and then another something is placed in that something to make you think what you're seeing is a manifestation or a a a um a, a what what do they call it? Apparitions. Um Oh and, and this was mostly just to just to keep things a lot uh uh busy, uh, occupied. Um having fun, I mean, you know, the beings enjoyed the dimensional beings, the, oh, but they first, of course, had to ask permission, um, all and every single dimensional being that, um, wanted access here on earth, in any way whatsoever, first had to go by Anu personally, um, Anu was basically the god now of earth and the dimensions and existence in its entirety, because everyone feared him, and his race, actually. They became real mean bastards. Um, so they had to ask permission, and when they asked permission, they would be, you know, approved or declined, depending on how much you, what you're going to say enslaves the human beings. The more the words that is, will be spoken by the dimensional beings enslaves and screws them over even more in terms of not, of directing them um, to the in, down the incorrect path, you know. It's like going wrong way, right way, but making the wrong way the right way. It's interesting. And uh, so, for instance, people, I know this is difficult, but it's how it happened. In other words, anything that you've seen in terms of manifestations of ghosts or apparitions, things like that, happens through your mind. Uh, no being had actually ever been able to manifest here on earth since um, I knew in them. Though so you're able to, well it's interesting that you're able to have a being seem manifested here on earth if you have a collective. If you have many beings and let's say, and let's say there's a dimensional being in each and every, let's say there's many beings in one group many that I'm talking about, you know, 15,000, 10,000 around there. Now, there's 10,000 beings, for instance, 15,000 beings, human beings on earth, and then there's 15,000, 10,000 dimensional beings having the same projection manifestation of this um, environment these 10, 15,000 beings are seeing, and they want to actually manifest what seems like an actual human being. That's how it's done in that way. So, in terms of any manifestations of actual human beings, 
it's never worked that way, ever. And I, I've been in existence for aeons of time. Um, so that's how mind projections work, which is apparitions and ghost manifestations and presumably human beings that manifest. Um, so next I will cover channelings uh, to see how that worked exactly. And then we'll see what happens next. Thanks, this is Jack.